Did you know that the average person uses around 100 rolls of toilet paper per year? That's a lot of wiping. The story of toilet paper as we know it today, begins far away in the past, in the 6th century to be precise, in China. Yes, the Chinese were the first to use paper for personal hygiene. Fast forward to the 14th century, and we find large-scale manufacturing of toilet paper happening in the same country. Yet it wasn't until the late 19th century that toilet paper began to resemble the product we're all familiar with today, thanks to the invention of a process for extracting wood pulp. This made it possible to produce paper on an industrial scale, and suddenly, toilet paper was a staple in houses around the world. From a luxury item for the wealthy to an everyday essential for all, toilet paper has indeed come a long way. So, how does this small, seemingly insignificant roll of paper make its way to your bathroom? Let's dive in. The toilet paper journey starts with trees. Yes, those tall, leafy things outside your window. It might seem surprising, but those towering giants hold the humble beginnings of the toilet paper we use every day. The first step in this process is logging. Skilled lumberjacks fell the trees using powerful machinery to safely and efficiently cut them down. Once on the ground, the trees are stripped of their branches, leaving only the trunk, which is loaded onto a logging truck. These trucks transport the logs to a paper mill, the next stop in our toilet paper's journey. At the paper mill, the logs must undergo a process called debarking. This process removes the outer layer of bark from the logs, leaving only the smooth inner wood. This wood is the source of the cellulose fibers that will eventually become our toilet paper. Once debarked, the logs are broken down into small chips. This is done using massive machines known as chippers. These chippers grind the logs into chips about the size of a quarter. But we're not done yet. These chips are still too large to be turned into toilet paper. Next, the wood chips are cooked. This process is not unlike making a hearty soup. The chips are placed into a large pressure cooker along with water and chemicals. This mixture is then heated to a high temperature turning the wood chips into a mushy pulp. This pulp, known as wood pulp, is the raw material that will eventually be transformed into the soft, absorbent toilet paper we all know and use. Now we have a pulp, but it's not quite toilet paper yet. The next stage is where the magic happens, so hang on tight. We're about to dive into the fascinating world of toilet paper production. You'll be amazed at how much science and engineering goes into each and every roll. If you are enjoying this video so far, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Ever wonder how that tree pulp turns into soft white toilet paper? It's time to find out. Our journey continues with the pulp, now resembling a watery soup. This pulp is not quite ready for its transformation just yet. It must first undergo a cleansing process. This involves bleaching the pulp to a pristine white. But why bleach it, you may ask? Well, the bleaching process is crucial to remove any remaining lignin and impurities. Lignin, you see, is an organic polymer that binds the fibers and wood together. It's great for trees, but not so much for toilet paper. Once the pulp is bleached to perfection, it undergoes a thorough washing. This washing process removes any residual chemicals, ensuring we have the cleanest, whitest pulp possible. It's almost like giving the pulp a luxurious spa treatment before its big transformation. Now, we enter the drying stage. The pulp is spread onto a wide screen, much like spreading batter onto a baking tray. It's then heated to evaporate the water, leaving behind a thin, dry sheet of paper. This paper may look fragile, but don't be fooled. It's stronger than it appears, thanks to the intertwined fibers. It's time now for our paper to take on a new form. The paper sheet is wound onto large rolls, creating what looks like giant rolls of toilet paper. But don't rush off to your bathroom with these just yet. They're not ready for use. These large rolls are still too rough for our delicate needs. They need to undergo further processing to achieve that soft, fluffy texture we all appreciate. So, we've taken our journey from tree to pulp, and now from pulp to paper. It's been quite the transformation, hasn't it? But hold on to your hats, folks, we're not done yet. We're almost there, but we're not done yet. The final steps are what turn this paper into the toilet paper we all know and love. We've got our paper, but it's not quite toilet paper until it's on a roll. Imagine a giant roll of paper, so large it would dwarf even the tallest of us. This is our starting point in the final stage of our journey. These enormous rolls of paper need to be cut down to size. And that's exactly what happens next. Using precision machinery, the large rolls are cut into smaller, more manageable sizes. It's a little like a tailor, taking a bolt of fabric and cutting it down to make a suit. Only in this case the suit happens to be the humble roll of toilet paper, but we're not done just yet. Once we have our smaller rolls of paper they need to be perforated. 
This is the process that allows us to tear off just the right amount of paper when we need it. I'm sure we've all been there, struggling to find the right place to tear. So, the next time you effortlessly rip off a piece of toilet paper, spare a thought for the machines that made it possible. Once our paper is perforated, it's time for the final transformation. The paper is wound onto cardboard tubes to create the individual rolls we're all familiar with. It's a mesmerizing process, the paper winding around and around faster than the eye can see. And then, the final step. Our rolls of toilet paper are packaged up, ready to be shipped out to stores. It's quite a sight, watching the rolls being bundled up like soldiers preparing for their mission. And their mission? To make our lives a little bit more comfortable, one sheet at a time. And there you have it, from tree to toilet paper, ready to be shipped to a store near you. Please like the video and subscribe.